we are moving to the module 5 understand the importance of vital signs in this module we are talking about the vital signs of a person so these vital signs are the predeterminants of a person's health also we call these vital signs the heart of health there are different vital signs so the main vital signs are blood pressure pulse rate and the respiratory rate and body temperature now we are going to demonstrate how to check the vital signs good afternoon miss i'm dini please i'm the caregiver for you today so may i know your name please okay what's your age 46 46 okay now i'm going to check your vital signs is that okay with you so i'm going to check your blood pressure body temperature pulse rate and the respiratory rate uh, can i please check this side have you ever undergone any surgery no. from this side no right so there's no wound as well okay so i will choose this side uh, to check the body temperature so did you take a bath within 30 minutes morning in the morning i in the bath in the morning right yes. okay okay so i will get the equipment before the procedure i have to perform hand washing so first i'm going to check the body temperature of the person and then i am uh, cleaning the thermometer from the bulb to the stem then i am keeping it at the axillary area under the armpit we have to wait till the beep sound comes then after taking it off we have to clean the thermometer uh, to, from the stem to the bulb and then we are going to keep it at the eye level and get the reading okay then i am moving to check the pulse rate so when we are checking the pulse rate we have to keep our middle finger and the index finger at the inner aspect of the wrist at uh, the base of the thumb. So I'm going to check the radial pulse. So I will keep my fingers like this and check the pulse rate for one full minute. So we can use a watch to count minutes and after checking pulse for a full minute, then uh, we have to check the respiratory rate of the person. So therefore, I am going to observe the chest movements, but we are not going to inform the patient that we are checking the respiratory rate because the patient knows it, the rhythm can be changed. So therefore, after checking the pulse for a minute, we will be checking the respiratory rate and counting the chest movements for one full minute without informing the patient. After counting for a full minute, then I am going to check the blood pressure of the person. Do you have any preferred hand to check the blood pressure? Yeah. Which hand? This hand? Okay, the right hand. Before checking the blood pressure, we have to choose the appropriate blood pressure cuff for the person. So there are pediatric cuffs for small children. So as this is an adult, I'm choosing the adult cuff. And we have to remove uh, the clothes and expose the arm and we are placing uh, the BP cuff 2.5 centimeters to 5 centimeters above the elbow and we have to always keep the hand at the heart level. Okay, now we have the uh, blood pressure value of the person and then after getting the reading we are removing the blood pressure cuff. Now we have checked uh, the main vital signs and then after the procedure we are performing the hand hygiene all right so this is the end of vital signs checking procedure so with the differentiations or the abnormalities of these vital signs we can identify if the patient is having any disease condition therefore these uh, vital signs are the parameters which defines the early signs of a person's health